All right, fact or fiction? Coconut oil is pure po poison. That is the question we are tackling this afternoon. What say you, Andrew? Uh, well, we're going to ask the expert here in a second. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Dr. Sabrina Fabi is here to talk about it. So uh, the reason this is coming up is because a Harvard professor says coconut oil is pure poison, but 72% of Americans think it's okay. Right, and only 37% of nutritionists polled in that same survey thought it was healthy. And so the question is, what is there, are there any studies to actually support that it's truly healthy? Well, it's really only amongst animals. So in animals, they have found that it has positive effects con contributing to healthier insulin levels, uh, as well as decreasing weight, uh, and possibly having benefits with the liver uh, and other organs, but they haven't been able to actually show that with humans yet. So have we all been just scammed by like marketers? I feel like all of a sudden in the last couple years, everything is made with coconut oil, from what you put on your face, to your hands, to your eyes, to you eat it, you put it on your toes. I mean, like everything is made of coconut oil. I know, but there's really no, no science to support that it's wow. that healthy. Isn't it wild? So right. we know that marketing's effective. Uh -huh. um, but it's probably somewhere in the middle. So it's not as bad as oils that are really heavily um, trans-saturated. Um, it is 90% of the content of coconut oil is saturated fat. And remember, we always want unsaturated fats. That's the reason why olive oil oil is so healthy. Canola oil is so healthy. Uh, so coconut oil has a high saturated fat content. So that doesn't make it so healthy because if you eat too much of it, you can actually increase your LDL or your bad cholesterol. But we have found that it increases your good cholesterol as well, which some of these more transaturated fats don't do. So that's probably why it's probably somewhere in the middle. As far as cooking, it's probably better than maybe using butter when you're baking. Uh, but it's not as good as you using uh, oils that have high smoke temperatures, like avocado, avocado oil, oil. Mm -hmm. because any time that you fry or use that to actually cook your food and it goes beyond its smoke point, which is 350 degrees Celsius, then in fact you start releasing these aldehydes that increase our aging because it oxidizes our food. So and you're saying, excuse me, sorry, you're saying it's somewhere in the middle here. Right. But let's look at both ends of the spectrum. Why do marketers say it's so good for you? Why does a Harvard professor say it's pure poison? I think with everything in, in life. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is always somewhere in the middle. Um, I think that it does, in, in many of our topical products, we use it. Uh, people don't necessarily react to it as bad. I think it's because it does come from a more natural source, um, you know, which is coconut, uh, that people do like to prefer it and use it. And because it smells good and it gives mm -hmm. our food good flavor. So it has a lot of properties that we like. Um, avocado oil is also great to cook with, but doesn't smell so good. So we probably don't use it in many of our topical products, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it does have its positives. Uh, I think just with everything, we start to abuse it. And so I think that that's probably what we've seen here. Maybe I, use it in moderation and then just put it on. And then put it on oh, your skin and your hair. Yeah, you go. We got to go, Dr. Fabi. Thanks yes, for being here. Appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thanks Thank for having you. me.